Welcome everybody to another World of Tanks replay. My name is Maxwell and this one is from the user Panzerno Zerno. He's driving the AMX 12T on a standard battle on Pilsen. 12T is a tier 6 lighter tank for the French. It's a pretty nice auto loader as well, especially when it's in a tier 7 only game. Loads up to 6 shells in its chamber. 144 pen, 135 damage. Fires pretty quickly as well. Nice little tank. I used to enjoy the 12T when it was tier 5. And the AMX 1375 after it when it was tier 6. And they did tend to suffer from a little bit of power creep when they got moved up in tiers, but they're, 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 in, a good, they're in a good place right now. And uh, pretty good, reliable tanks. But anyway, on to this replay pan. Just having a quick look at the centre. Nothing really seen. It looks like the enemy team's pushing really hard through the ruined factory here. So, pan going to head up and see if he can do something about this. He's got a Hellcat. And uh, an M4 Sherman being very, very aggressive. Finds the M4 Sherman, gets his track. Looks like the M4 Sherman's obviously in sniper mode because he wasn't paying any attention whatsoever. And that's a very quick kill. Finds a Leopard as well. Looks like the Leopard is more interested in taking out the Crusader, which is a little bit of a mistake considering that the 12T is the one that's going to wreck him with the fact that he's got an auto loader. Then wreck him he does. That's kill number two very quickly as well. Hellcat looks like he's derping a little bit on this rubble pile, but Pan's got quite a long reload between clips. I think this Hellcat just waiting patiently for Pan to poke out and make a mistake, but he's too smart for that, so backs off. And the Hellcat gets himself taken out while he's waiting for that kill. And one that never came. I was just trying to have a little look there, but finds a VK-2801. The VK-2801 just falls back. He does want to try and trade with a 12T. And everything in the center is kind of sewn up, except that the majority, like 80% of the Allied team, are in two squares on the map, this area here. They really need to move and disperse just a little bit. As you can see, the enemy team is pushing quite heavily through the number two line as well. And there's nothing really that 112T could do about that. Instead, he's going to move over to the other flank. And that's always a good manoeuvre. When you can't defend against one push on one flank, try and push a different flank instead. Finds a Hellcat. Gets the shot on him to take him out. Finds a Tiger now. Going to try and come around behind him without taking any hits. And we go. The Tiger misses that one. As he's just way too slow. Don't think Pan... Oh, no, but he does. I was going to say, I don't think he has the alpha damage to take him out left in the clip, but he does. And that was a great 600 damage farm from that Tiger there, who was just caught completely unawares. And like I said, if you can't defend the flank that you're on, push the other one. And that's exactly what he did. He saw an opening in the centre, went straight up that train line, and was able to take out two tanks, a Hellcat and a Tiger. Finds an AFK Nashorn here, although he has to be careful, he may not be AFK. He may just be one of those bots that only moves when he finds an enemy. I've been caught out by those before. When you come around the corner. But it looks like he just really is AFK. And you use him as cover from that right hand side so anybody over there can't hit Pan. And a lovely ammo rack at the end there to take him out. With two shells left in the chamber. No artillery in this map on this game so he can take it a little bit easy he doesn't have to hunt for the artillery he does find the rear of the AT7 that's why he reloaded his clip while he was on his way over here just so that he could get the full amount of damage onto this AT7 that he can the AT7 is just not map aware at all he's obviously stuck in sniper mode I think he's aware now but there isn't really anything he can do he gets taken out for kill number six that's a well-deserved Top Gun medal Although this game looks like it's in favour of the Allies, it's by no means a foregone conclusion. The enemy team has two T-29s left, and T-20, and one of them's on, at least one of them's on full health. And T-29s, when they are top tier, can be very, very dangerous indeed. So we have a look at the quality of tanks left. The enemy team is pretty even, actually. The VK-2801 has been spotted, he's got no health whatsoever. Let's see if he gets taken out now. 34-1 isn't able to do so. Scored a T25 coming around from the other direction. Pan is also going to close him down. Definitely not leave anything to chance. If there's the opportunity to take a tank out, you should take it. And take it, he is. He is chasing him, but he doesn't want to fire off 
well, he does fire off a, a speculative shot. And another one. And a third, which is could prove to be costly, considering the amount of shells he has left. VK-2801 pre-aimed on this area. You've got to be careful, because that gun on the 2801 is going to be able to one-shot pan. Not able to one-shot a T-34-1, though. So he just goes charging around the corner and takes him out. That leaves two T-29s, one almost on full health. He comes into the tank factory now, looking for this 34-1 pan. Doesn't really want to get proxy spotted, but he does. Going to see if the T-29 is map aware or not. Looks like he isn't. He moves on. Gets a hit in the side. He's going to be dueling with the 34-1 now. Pan's got to get in there and help out. Not sure if he's going to have the alpha damage to take him out. Ooh, takes a hit from the T-29. Sets him on fire as well, and there we go. The question of whether he had enough alpha damage has been answered now. He takes him out for kill number seven by setting him on fire. That's 3,000 damage so far, tier six with a light tank, which is amazing. Misses that first shot, didn't quite aim it long enough. Second shot, not able to get a line of sight. He's got three shells left, one loaded. And two in the magazine, not quite ready to be loaded yet. Doesn't quite land a damaging shot on this T-29. It would have been nice if he could have got himself a Randy Walters medal, but it looks like it's not to be, as his reload is going to take a hell of a long time here. Although that Hellcat has missed as well. Pan smells blood in the water. He comes forward. He's going to try and get this Randy Walters medal. Can he get it? He can indeed. That is the shot. That is the kill. What a great platoon mate there, allowing him to get that last bit of damage to get that well-deserved Radley Walters medal. So that's 3,000 points of damage, 8 kills in a tier 7 game in the AMX 12T. Awesome game played there by Pan00. Sorry if I'm butchering the pronunciation of your name. I almost certainly am. But what a great replay. What a great game played there. So thank you very much for sending that replay in. Don't forget, guys, if you've got yourself a great replay, send that into replay at screenreality.com. Link for that's in the description. I've been Maxwell. This has been a Wall of Tanks replay, and I'll catch you guys next time.